All right, now let's take a look at the latest business headlines. For help with that, we're going to bring in business and markets analyst and Newsmax contributor Seth Denson and executive vice president of the Commonwealth Foundation and fellow at the Independent Women's Forum, Jennifer Stefano. Stefano. Right. Okay, so late yesterday, General Motors actually announced that they're cutting 500 of its salaried workers. It's interesting because we talked yesterday about how GM, a study found that they had some of the most loyal customers. They ranked very highly. So Jennifer, the timing of this is a bit surprising. I mean, is this the first big automaker to announce big cuts? Right, but I think what they're doing is getting lean, knowing that car sales are starting to decline, that it's not always going to be the heyday for selling cars. And what I thought was most interesting about these layoffs is that they came after a performance review and performance evaluations, and they were cuts to white collar jobs. They were cuts to executive jobs, mm -hmm. to management jobs. They are not cutting their workers or their producers. Uh, they're cutting layers of management. That's what good companies do. They get lean in good times. And I think that's what GM's doing here. Oh, good point. Um, okay. So Target, one of the nation's top retailers, revealed its fourth quarter earnings, showing it eked out slight growth with holiday sales. And Jennifer, it kind of seems like the company's decision to cut prices really in boosting sales kind of paid off. Right. So they're looking to try to have even more what I would call loss leaders in the store. They're looking to put in more items at five, three and a dollar uh, go so that it draws people into Target. But they're doing something even bigger. And I think this is even more important. First of all, they're customizing the experiences so that you're walking in for other brands, almost like a mall, but without the individualized stores. So they have Ult in there. They want to put Disney in there. They want to put Levi Strauss in there so that you're coming in for a particular experience inside the Target store. The other thing they're doing is improving how they do curbside delivery. I was at a Target and Walmart just the other day. At Target, people still have to walk in to pick up their groceries. There was a lineup at the Walmart here where I'm here in Florida for people to drive up and get their goods and get their online orders. That is a customization that people have grown used to. It's one of those free perks that people now expect and demand. So I think this is how Target's planning to become competitive. Yeah, in interesting. They're really switching things up in all different uh, ways. Uh, this is for the basketball Michael Jordan lovers in our lives. So Sotheby's has set has a set of six Air Jordan sneakers all worn by by the man himself during his six career championship games. Uh, Jennifer, what are these expected to fetch at auctions? Gotta be a pretty penny. So I think they're gonna go for far more than expected, upwards of, of millions. I think Michael Jordan is probably, you could argue, the greatest athlete America has ever had. Now, I know that is highly controversial, but he's a star and he's still alive. And these are something that he created as part of his brand. I think this is what makes it a little bit different than any other paraphernalia, that these are actually the brand he created that people buy and wear every day. So these are special because they were worn by him and I assume they're gonna have a providence of what games they were worn during and what years they were worn and whether he did or didn't win a championship. And that's gonna drive prices. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so finally, heroic rescue dogs worked in the rubble to help find survivors and victims of the horrific quake in Turkey and Syria. But Turkish officials refused to send these four-legged heroes home in the cargo of a plane. Instead, they're flying home first class. So Seth, let me start with you. I mean, you guys are both actually big dog lovers. I mean, what do you think about this? Listen, I love this. You know, we talked about my dogs. I've got a picture of my There's Dylan my above me in almost every uh, segment. And uh, listen, God created the world in six days, rest in the seventh. But he focused. Oh, there's my Cody oh. with my daughter Emerson. Yeah. Uh, and there's Dylan. Uh, listen, I, you know, again, I'm going to start tearing up talking about this. But I love it. I love that we're saying, hey, these God creatures uh, have helped the world in so many ways and certainly in what's going on uh, over there following this destruction. So uh, let's honor them. Let's make them comfortable. They certainly make us comfortable. Absolutely. Jennifer, about uh, 15 seconds. Your thoughts? Absolutely. Our dogs, those dogs did heroic things. They helped the Turkish people. And you'll notice that whenever there's a problem, whenever there's strife, whether it's the military or a disaster, they never send in cats, do they? No, no they don't. They send in the dogs. And there's a reason for that. They're smart. They're capable. There's one of my babies. Look at him. He's so sweet. That's beastie right there. And, and they send in the dogs. They never send in the cats. Um, and they're heroes and they have helped humans for a very long time. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ending on my mom's new puppy, Gabe. Um, I love it. Dogs are so incredibly special. I can't find enough words for them. Um, but it's Seth Denson, Jennifer Stefano. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me.